You will crease the vinyl if you don't follow the steps on how to wrap a hood. Let's go ahead and get started. I bet you're asking what type of materials do you need to have? Well, for this one that I'm installing with, you can use either Avery Dennison, 3M, or KPMF. These are good starter vinyls to start with on it. But what about the tools? Well, to start with, you really do need to have a squeegee, such as this one right here. The next one that you need to have is your blade. Now, mind you, do not put your blade out this far or any further than that. What you need to have it is, is about right there. That's a good spot right here to make sure that your blade is cutting cleanly and it's not cutting too much of the panel or the vinyl. You gotta have either a torch or a heat gun. In my preference, you should use the heat gun. Much more controllable than the torch because this thing will get hot and burn a hole through your panel very fast. You're gonna set this whole place on fire. So if you're new, start with this. The next on this list is your steady. This right here is gonna work wonders for you with the paper backing on it. If it does not have the paper backing on it, that means you can cut it with your blade, but don't cut too deep. That's why we said keep your blade short. The next one is your gloves. Your gloves you're gonna use on a lot of areas such as your body lines or caved in areas where your squeegee is gonna leave bubbles at. And when you leave bubbles, sometimes you leave. You wanna make sure that you don't keep no trash up under the vinyl. If you do see, it's gonna look like small pimples and it's gonna make you very irritated as well as the client. This car that we're wrapping on is a Mercedes-Benz S63, but it also works on any other Benzes that have similar hoods just like this, such as that S550, the E350 Coupe. Make sure you have full coverage. If you don't have full coverage, then you're gonna be in a little world of hurt. This is where the snitty comes in because now we are actually cutting and trimming right there by the front windshield where we have excess vinyl and we wanna make sure that you can trim that off because you wanna save that for later, especially if you're gonna do other pieces such as door handles or side mirrors. Now, when we're pulling the paper backing up under the vinyl, you wanna make sure that it's a smooth transition. Sometimes it can get a little rough and the vinyl will start to look like it's wrinkling up. It's okay, don't panic. Now, once you have that, tack one side of it because it's gonna help you with making sure that you can pull on the opposite end of it. If you need to, put a magnet right there, but don't put it on the panel. Now, what we're gonna do is pulling in our triangle. You're gonna be pulling in two corners. One side, well, it's actually one corner, but you're gonna be pulling from both sides of that corner. That is gonna help you glass out the panel. That leads me to my first thing. What is glassing out a panel? Glassing out a panel is when the vinyl is fully smooth across the panel looking with no creases or anything like that, and it's ready to be squeegeed down. There's still a little bit of air up under there, but it's so level and smooth where you can easily squeegee it out. It's okay if not all of the vinyl is actually smooth, making it glassed out. The reason why, you can use a little bit of heat just to make sure that it relaxes down. That's what you wanna do. Do not overstretch it and pull for dear life. Once the panel is glassed out in all four corners to make sure that it's fully smooth, then, you can start your squeegee. Now, it is time to make sure that you squeeze from the bottom of the hood and go up. If you try to go up and down, you're gonna confuse yourself and leave a lot of bubbles. And when you leave bubbles, it's gonna leave creases. Trust me on this one. Make it as simple as possible. This is your first time. So squeegee up first and just keep going. You're gonna overlap your strokes. When you overlap your strokes, think like cutting the grass. Have you cut grass before? Angle it. Make sure that it's always at an angle. So when you're squeegeeing, you're never squeegeeing straight. So you're always gonna go at an angle. That will help with you not having any bubbles or creases in it. Now here's a key tip for you. Make sure that you understand how to squeegee open face or closed face. When you're doing the hood, you want to do the first initial one, whether it's open face or closed face, it doesn't matter on the first initial squeegee. That means it needs to go down the middle of the hood and you can do an open, or closed face. Now for the rest of the way, when you're squeegeeing and you're squeegeeing it up, coming closer up to the top, and but it's actually squeegeeing closer towards you. So that means you need to be doing closed face. Closed where it's closed towards you. Let me demonstrate on this one. Make sure since you're a beginner, that you wet your squeegee. That's gonna make sure that the squeegee glides on top of the vinyl. Angle, come up. Move over a little bit more, 
that little bit more needs to be halfway. So wherever you squeegee that last, that needs to come to their halfway point. Squeegee, halfway, squeegee, you get my drift. Now say you get a bubble in this. It's okay, it's not the end of the world, but you do have to get it out. If it's a small bubble, something about the size under a quarter, you can easily push it down and get it out with just your finger. Now, if it's something much larger, you need to open up an area to let all of that air evacuate out much easier. Because if not, you're gonna have a room full of creases and you're gonna have to lift it up anyway. So, anticipate it and do it in the first place. This part right here of your glove is the only thing that you're gonna be using as the palming technique. And this halfway point needs to be right there on the body line. So you can push or let it glide and drag down. Whichever one is your preference. Doesn't matter. Just make sure that the air that is up under it has a way to get out either through the top or the bottom. Once you finish that, now you can switch back to your squeegee. Or if you don't feel like it and you like the glove so much, just use the glove. You always repeat it on the opposite side as well. Even if you have vents, such as this one does on the S63, or the one that's on Dodge Chargers and Challengers, make sure you get those out at the end because you don't want to do all of this good work and then all of a sudden have to lift up because you creased right beside it and now you got to lift up what you just laid down. You pick up what I'm putting down, don't make the same mistake part. Now, if you're working with a type of car that has a really deep recess or body line, then lift it up and relax it in. That's going to help much better. What do I mean by lifting it up and relaxing it? Lift up the vinyl on the end and let it relax in with your glove. Palm it the rest of the way out. This is where most people run into problems too just because they're trying to move a little too fast. Take your time, this is your first time actually wrapping this hood, or one of your first few times. So you wanna understand the process and make sure that you're not doing it too fast, causing too many problems. Now you finish squeegeeing the whole panel out. That's great, that's the easy part. Now it's time to start tucking and cutting. Squeegeeing is very forgivable. You can easily lift it up and redo it unless you burn a hole. Now when the tucking and cutting, you can only cut about one, maybe twice depending on if you cut too much or too short. But this is the area that you really want to focus on first because you want to lift up the hood once you finish cutting this area. If you leave this, any vinyl that may be touching these windshield wipers is actually going to get caught onto it and may cause it to rip depending on how tight it is on it, especially in this area right here. This corner is going to cause you a lot of problems if you do not trim this, at least to get this about right here and you can leave a little tab. That's going to help you a whole lot. Now make sure when you're trimming, don't put it way out here. Put it about right here. Right here is even better. Now when you're putting your blade, do not set it up here. When you're cutting on the inside of this, up under this hood, you want to have it always parallel. You want it sideways on. Let me show you what I mean a little bit closer. This is where your blade needs to be. Right here. At this point right here, this helps glide and cut much easier. Compared to here, you're gonna be trimming off way too much and you're gonna leave it where it has too less of vinyl right here. This is where you're gonna see all of your existing paint if you cut too short. Since this one has vents in it, you always want to make sure that you use your glove. It's the best thing about it right here. The reason why is because you can't use a squeegee really. It's not really gonna squeegee much as you think. Use your glove and let it feed in. You can warm it up with your heat gun and then slowly start at the top and feed the first little layer of it and then slowly work in a little bit deeper. That's what you should do also on your Dodge Chargers and Challenger. And once you get to the edge, inside edge or outside edge of the vent, whichever one it is, trim flush to it. You can then cut it. You don't have to really tuck it behind there. There's something that's gonna sit on top, whether it's the real vent part of it. Now, as you're starting to get ready to tuck and cut all of your corners and edges, this is an easier process and I call it the assembly line. First, you must cut out all of your tabs on each of your corners. So that means if you have six corners or four corners, whichever one, these are sharp points that lead to a corner on your hood. This right here is a corner. And so is that one right up here. What you wanna do is create a tab. This tab right here is gonna make everything much easier on tucking this corner. But some corners are not as easy. You may have to relax it down using a little bit of heat and then do a little pull just to make sure that it's tightly wrapped and tucked right up under it. But also with this corner, even if it's larger and it has a little bend like most Mercedes do, you can easily relax it and then wrap it the rest of the way. Make sure that everything is tucked and no air is left behind it. Can't stress this enough. If you leave air, you know it's about to happen. 
Once you cut your tabs, now you can cut off the excess vinyl because you don't need all of this right here. What I suggest you do is use a tube. We preferably use like a small little tube. I'll show you what I mean. This tube right here. This is all you need right here just to put up under your hood. Now you've seen the tube that I use was much longer, but you can trim it down to the size that you like. That way you can lift up the hood much easier and not have to have all of that vinyl tacking onto other panels. You've already cut your tabs and your excess vinyl. Now it's time to go ahead and trim the rest of this off so that way it's a clean, smooth finish, just like you see here. Come and join our class so we can teach you more tips and tricks and show you how to grow in this industry. Like and follow.